Hey guys, before we get started, I need to explain something because I know you don't normally make a serving platter on the lathe, but things change. So when we were down in Arizona, Chad Schimmel gave me this beautiful piece of a sisu crotch. And what I was going to do was make a bowl out of it and put handles on the side of it. Robin found an antique bowl and it had wooden handles on it and they were all carved into it and she really liked that style. So that's what I was going to do. But when, after I got the bottom shape, turned around, I realized that the cr crotch wood only went down into it maybe three inches. So if I wouldn't have made a bowl out of it, it would have just turned away all that, that beautiful heartwood. So that is why after I got it carved out a little bit on the on the top, we just switched gears and decided to make a serving platter. So it was kind of a long process, flipping it back and forth to carve it out and sand it and take the foot off and everything else. So that is why I turned a serving platter on the lathe because things change. And stick around till the end of the video. I have some free passes for the Artisan Summit in Las Vegas to give away too. So I'll tell you at the end how you can enter to win that. All right, we should get started on this bowl slash serving platter. Help support the companies that support our community.
I filled the tub up with mineral oil just over the top of the platter and I let it soak for a couple of days. Mineral oil is a great food safe finish. A lot of people use it on cutting boards, wooden spoons, things like that. Super easy to apply and it just brings out that rich color in the wood. Super happy with how this came out. I'd never turned Sisu before, but it is just beautiful. And again, Chad, thank you so much. Chad's from uh, down there in Chandler at the Turner's Warehouse. We got to swing by on our way out of town and check out his shop and he gave us a couple pieces of wood. So thank you, man, it's just beautiful. It is 15 and a half inches across and 12 inches tall. But yeah, it was, so what happened was when I was turning it, the, a couple of the limbs, like this one, they go in, in pretty deep, but this little guy over here is the one I noticed, and it didn't go in there very far, so if I would have cut this out much more, it would have got rid of all that heartwood, and that's why I stopped and decided to go with the platter. But just beautiful wood, beautiful piece of wood. All right, um, Las Vegas Artisan Summit is April 3rd and 4th, so in the comments below, leave the words, my name here, okay? And I will grab everybody off of there that, and put it in a randomizer, but I need you to do something. I'm, I'm gonna announce the winners on Instagram. I'm gonna wait till Sunday night at midnight, Pacific Standard Time. I believe it's the 17th, Sunday's the 17th. I think so. I'm gonna do it Sunday night, it's 17th or 18th. Um, and, but I need, need you to go over there because I'm going to announce all the winners over there and I need to be able to message you. A lot of people on YouTube, I have no way to message them if they won. And I will message you if you won and I will mail you a pass. I hope to see you there. It's going to be fantastic. There's a lot of great uh, speakers going to be there and some hands-on demos and things like that. So if you're in the area, please, I encourage you to, to uh, sign up for it and uh, and uh, come check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. I will put a link down below in the description to that as well uh, as well and everything else. All right. Um, oh, a couple of things. Boise, Idaho. We are going to be in Boise, Idaho, March 9th. I believe it's the 8th and 9th. We're going to be um, uh, I'm going to do all day or a all day demo on Saturday at the Woodcraft there in Boise and Friday night I'm going to teach you a class. So if you're in the Boise area, please stop by and say hi. Um, and what, what else do we have? We have the Artisan Summit coming up, Maker Central's coming up. So go check out everything. I'll put a link down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video, I please encourage you to subscribe and There'll be lots more to come next week. No turning. We're going to be doing a power carving project for the power carving challenge. So I'm look, really looking forward to that. Super excited about that project. All right. Till next week. Take care.